All right, so welcome back. It is a Tuesday, and that means it's time. It's that time of the show where we are joined by African spiritual advisor, CM Kize, and Namhlanje. We are talking about intercultural relationships. Kavazel, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us, Namhlanje. We, we simplify it. See, see, if you are begging, you see, when we are speaking about intercultural relationships, see, okay, so intercultural relationships is between Zulu vendor, Lady Twana, um, Kosa, Zulu. Yeah, well, that's what we're talking that's... about. We're talking about intercultural relationships or intercultural um, marriages, which, in my yeah. opinion, is something we should definitely be encouraging right and we should be celebrating intercultural marriages and of intercultural course. um relationships reason being is as much as we talk about you hear me you constantly hear me on the morning show talk about mm. to cleanse a sin in the family or a generational curse doesn't necessarily remove it completely from the family. It simply says, let's silence it as much as, as we possibly can. But the chance does always remain. There's always going to be that 1% chance. Mm. So the best way for us to completely eradicate that um, and dilute that generational curse or trauma from the family lineage is genetic and spiritual diversity. Wow. So basically, intercultural marriages. So what, what would then be the, the, the spiritual implications of, you know, marrying or dating and being serious, uh, being in a committed uh, relationship mm. um, with someone outside of your own culture? Um, and I suppose when you get married, even if mm. you come from mm. different backgrounds. So I always tell my clients that are marrying from different cultural groups is that in essence, amashabiso need to be done to yeah. complete the marriage, right? That's the most important thing. Whether nishaba imbozi, imvu, inkomo, that doesn't really matter, right? But in essence, if when so meaning umzul wagam keys, right? And then if imzo shata um, with a twana or a pedicle, right? I think one of us is the same. They yeah. do imv, yeah. right? So my key issue, whatever we're doing on her side, we will follow amatwana or pediculture. But then when she's being brought into the family, she'll be brought into the family according to Zulu customs. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. Yes, there are in between stages, like sometimes cinema Zulu corner that we need to do on your side, not a problem. And if Bonabatswana, they need to do something on my side, that's also not a problem. Like I think some cultural groups, I think some groups, as well. Mm -hmm. Right? So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Then that's not a, that, those are the kind of things that you're gonna do differently. Yeah. yeah but, but if I'm if mean I'm marrying into a family, but you know, in addition, fine, I'm telling our daughter, but now we're telling you, then that's fine. Let me sing you telling you, you know. And I uh, corner uh, these challenges that some people come across here where one of us um, would follow the, the cultural, traditional roots um, of doing things. And then one of us, if I may, does not believe mm. and just entirely in, in, in doing any of this. Like you're, you're speaking with Samatla so in Dek Fanele and Ziwe. So mm. what if one of us, they have their side of the family who says, we don't believe in this, we, we don't practice this. Then what happens okay. in that instance? So if it's the man's side of the family that says, we believe in it, and the woman's side of the family saying we don't believe in it. That's fine. That's not a problem. Values on genius were like hanging it. That means I'd say yes in Bab. As don't seem busy. It's a lenis. But has a low to know. But about Dalla. Now, see, see, more. Here's the situation at home. Sister Lugoti, please forgive us for not actually doing the protocol on her side. This is the situation. Things do get a bit tricky when it's the man's side of the family that is not willing to do a mashabis, right? In that instance. Right, you can break protocol. So the person who's meant to assist me, right, is my father. Mm. But if my father and everybody else above me, who is mandated and it is their duty to do so, is unwilling to fulfill that duty, Mina, as a son, I can break protocol. Okay, it's fine. Right, and and I mean. About pants, the mantles become a, a very important part of of this union. Mm, mm. Are there instances where you you will receive signs, probably from your ancestors, Guti, 
this is not where you should be or there is a conflict with mm. who your partner is or the way that they do things and then your ancestors <laughs> so you see this is a very tricky one in the sense that abandaba dala will never say no to this person right they give everybody a fair shot unless I'm claiming that person that you're with is an axe murderer mm -hmm. then it's a completely different story yeah well yeah. but the spiritual connection is something which is which can be spiritually there historically between the families right but it is also something that you can earn you can earn the favor of the ancestors even if you're not necessarily their number one pick right because what we forget with relationships and love um, is that a spiritual connection is something that needs to be nurtured and i always tell them that if you're gonna have a hundred percent contribution body mind and spirit spirituality only plays less than 20 percent sure. right and you're like but why would i say that as a spiritual advisor that's because the other 80 percent is body and mind mm. your state of mind and emotional well-being determines your behavior and actions and your behavior and actions determine your spirituality mm. right your behavior and your actions are what's nurturing the spiritual connection and yes i mean as much as we talk about amahabiso and everything else all of these cultural issues and, and and divisions and um differences can be can be overcome but the lack of love or the lack of love which is communicated through action and commitment yes. there's nothing that can overcome that yes. I mean, love always wins in the end. All right, we want you to get in on this conversation as well by sending us your voice notes on 072-411-6528. Maybe you have a question for OCM Kiza that is related to what we're talking about today, which is intercultural relationships. Maybe you want him to help you understand um, various aspects. Maybe you are in that kind of relationship. You are more than welcome to send us your question. And when we come back from the break, OCM will help us unpack some of that. Let's go to an ad break. Right, we're back with uh, African uh, spiritual advisor Usiam Kiza. We're talking about intercultural relationships, and uh, we are also asking you to send us your voice notes if you have any questions for Usiam. Yeah, thank you so much for for staying with us. Um, I mean, Sitema started this conversation, and I said to you, just simplify it for us. Wuting is into city intercultural schoolmangan, but within that, seeing a kuluma footy about the different races mm. when it comes to people um you know coming together and 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 getting married or being in a, a committed relationship so let's speak about if there are any challenges when it mm. comes to interracial unions um and and the ancestors because you know a lot of people like speaking about ancestors as if conflict <laughs> with so let's let's speak about that yeah this this so there's no real conflict with ancestors and them wanting you to marry inside or outside of your race group your ancestors will never tell you that don't marry outside of your race group there's no problem with marrying outside your race group the only problem that happens with some of our clients of different races is that or the entry of a woman into that family mm. is where the problem lies you see um, there are some you see the the the, the, the race groups where by Ashaba in general yes. not too concerned about that right. I'm concerned about some of the race groups where Abashabi at all yeah well and it goes back to what I was saying initially in the first place that if when you know that Ekai they're not willing to do it when as the husband you can do it yourself and I think it's so important that um, Mm -hmm. We need to have conversations around spirituality because we love to have conversations on, oh, what kind of wedding would you want to have? What, how would you want to raise our kids? Yes. You know, but you need to have the conversation on spiritually. What are we? Are we on the same page, right? Yeah. Because the conversation around spirituality will determine how you execute your wedding. Because how you determine you execute your wedding will determine the spirituality of the children that you have with your husband or your wife. But we're not having, or rather, we're not encouraging young couples to have conversations around culture and spirituality yeah. enough. Yeah. Me yeah. date one. You need to have this kind of conversation. Yeah. I need to know if we are shaba or you don't. If you don't, it's not a problem. 
but are you at least willing to explore and learn? Right. And then if the person's willing to explore and learn, just be patient with them and show them step by step. And I mean, we are living in, in modern times and, I, and I, I'm always of the view that culture also just needs to evolve. So as far as what is, irregardless of all the generations and what has been done in our families, because so we union yami now, mm. we are coming together, we're young people, are we not able to forge our own way of doing things? To say, okay, so Tina Sizo Gwen Saganje, for Umshatoe to as Labi, as Kipi Lobol, and Sio Hamaje, Sio Isainela, see, 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 are we, are we not able to do that in, uh, in modern times? Being too pragmatic mind, right. too forward thinking. All right. Uh, Ilongolo yeah, yeah. Okay. Because Okumbolo, Ilobolo is to mobilize the ancestors around this particular union. Hence, the keeping calm. Yabo. But mind you, if you're not going to pay Ilobolo, the, mo the ancestors are not mobilized around that union, number one. Number two, Amashabiso, marriage is a covenant. And the blood of an animal seals the covenant of marriage. Because if we're, if mean as a moon I'm going to say, no, Angfunu Globola, Angfunu Klab, Angfunu Benzalut. There will be no children that can carry them keys as surname. And in that is need a lot of the um, children minds. Zisha wai lo kuguti aban mesli samanje kuro manabanje man mesli as funu kiaul as 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 funu kipi lo ball in other words right mm. that's the most in terms of paying lo ball oh we're not we're not willing to follow culture you know sometimes I understand look financial constraints are there and stuff like that but at least be willing to do it right. yeah well right. and I understand that it's difficult getting married because being black and that there's many difficulties of experience with family members, right? Right? You're better off to an extent if your family is just like as funugens a lot, as habitin. I care then as a man you have the right to break protocol. Or you find um an elder with the same surname as you but not blood relatives, Bongo Fanana, to help you in the process. All right, let's listen to some of your voice notes that you've sent through to us. I'd just like to find out Mogu Tatiwe interculturally, but as I know Utlach Elwinga, Ubum Quinian, Gizotat of Futike, Wingy family manch, Kusamelu Woodsy, Gisha Giotella, Lagang Tatue corner, or Ganjanim Kulu. Towards. All right, no, that sounds straightforward. So basically, she's saying that if the first marriage they weren't they didn't slaughter to bring her in, mm. and now that that marriage has ended, can how does she marry with the second marriage, right? Mm. That first marriage didn't complete, therefore it doesn't count. So she must just scrap that completely and forget about it, right? Yeah, Nanje, what she must do about Tatsimbuzi or a sheep, okay? If they didn't say in Zogum keep. Right? Abambu is a Before the Lobola negotiates with the new person, Abambu is a car and Gembuzi with the sheep, then the, the, the new guy can just pay Lobola right back to her family. Okay. Yeah. So, so we saw Abba like Kaya, not Abba Sam Shadino. Yeah, but Goba Lumshad to Kala didn't complete. She's not a member of that family. Yes, yes. nothing was sealed there. Yeah. All right. Uh, we do hope that uh, your question has been answered. Let's listen to another voice note. Good morning, morning show. Morning. Um, I just would like to um, find out this. Um, I am Swati and uh, I married into Basoto. But um, when I got there, they didn't bang telling in young or zang bang telling in young. And I'm also spiritually gifted. Mm. Then, a couple of years thereafter, Sing ya la thing basabang comba lumuny bati yin daughter. So what is at play here? Is it culture? Is it spirituality? Or did something not go in accordance to how it was supposed to? Mm. Okay, very interesting one, but that one I'd obviously need more time to talk about it um with her, right? But essentially, um the fact that she didn't in the first relationship or the first marriage, right? Or I'm telling a young. Look, yeah. when we say telling a young, not all cultures do the process of telling a young. Like I think other people, I think they give you a piece of raw meat and you eat that. That's fine. Yeah, but there's something on the on the husband's side of the family, right? But the fact that that wasn't done for her 
Ushu kuti manje kugenze kuti eagles is just like how ngoba nje asubona umshado phelele. Right? Mm -hmm. And that's why they are showing um another man. Yeah. You see. Yeah. But them showing another man doesn't necessarily mean that she must pursue that relationship. Because we are shown people where there's a spiritual connection. And there'll be many spiritual connections you form in your lifetime. Yeah. But not all of them need to be nurtured and need to be explored. Yeah. You decide which one to nurture and explore and take mm. forward. Yeah, bo. And if she were then to, to seek clarity, given given mm. what you're saying, to seek clarity, what can she do then? For, see, for her to get that kind of clarity. You see, I'm a pasha, but at the same time, Abandabadala, they might not tell her. Most likely, they won't tell her anything. Sure. Abandabadala, they show you something, and then they say, make of it what you will. Mm. Or, Bazoti, invisible to lay or one match. Because if they show you getting married to him, right? Mm. Oh, oh, your ancestors don't want to manipulate you. They want you to make a decision free from manipulation. Mm. That's why they will show you the person, but they haven't shown you getting married to him. Or they'll show you getting married to him, but they haven't shown you having kids with them. Right. Because they're saying that at the end of the day, the choice is it's yours. yours. Okay. Yeah, more. All right. CM Kize, as usual, thank you so much for this valuable insight. Really appreciate it. Thank you at home for getting in touch with us and sending us your voice notes. Really do appreciate it. Let's take a break. Shalanas.